Welcome to today's discussion. We are looking at commercial arithmetic 2 under a section income tax form 3 mathematics and the question we have reads the table below shows income tax rates that is we have monthly taxable pay in Kenyan pounds then we have the rate of tax in shillings per pound these are the tax brackets that we are going to use to calculate tax the information given relating to this employee reads a company employee earns a monthly basic salary of Kenya shillings 30,000 and also given taxable allowances amounting to Kenya shillings 10,480. Part A calculate the total income tax, that is the gross tax. The employee is entitled to a personal relief of Kenya shillings 800 per month. Determine the net tax to max part C if the employee received a 50% increase in his total income calculate the corresponding percentage increase in total tax for you to get 3 marks so let us look at the solution to this question one we are supposed to calculate the total tax the first thing before we calculate what we call total taxable income and we know that total taxable income is given by the basic salary you add all the allowances given and in this case now the basic salary has been given as 30,000 Kenya shillings we add taxable allowances amounting to 10,000 480 and this one gives us a total of Kenya shillings uh, 40,480 and this is per month. From here now we go to the table then we look at the rates given. Remember the table is in Kenyan pounds per month and whatever figure we have is in Kenyan shillings per month and therefore we have to change this amount into Kenyan pounds per month and in this case to calculate it into Kenyan pounds we simply take 40,480 we divide by 20 and this gives us Kenyan pounds this gives us Kenyan pounds 2024 per month as our taxable income in Kenyan pounds. Next we go and start taxing but before we calculate the tax let us know where our 2024 lies. Our 2024 lies in the last bracket and therefore we are going to tax this amount one two three four five times but before we go to the tax calculation allow me to calculate the amount we are going to tax in each bracket and for us to get the amount we are going to tax in each bracket remember we tax the maximums and in the first bracket in the first bracket we are going to tax a maximum of 400 and 35 to get the amount we are going to tax in the second bracket we take the maximum which is 870 minus 435 giving us 435 next we go to the third bracket we take the maximum which is 1305 minus 870 which is the maximum in the second bracket that gives us 435 we go to the fourth bracket we take the maximum which is 1740 minus 1305 this gives us a total of 435 and now we need to calculate the total amount we have taxed from the first second third and fourth by adding 
435 435 435 third and 435 in the fourth bracket this gives us a total of 17 40 so we are going to calculate the excess of 1740 by taking the amount we are supposed to tax which is a 2024 minus a total that we have taxed in our previous brackets that is if you take 17 if you take 2024 minus 1740 you get the excess of uh, 284 which is going to be taxed in the last bracket from here now we can go down and calculate the tax so in the first bracket in the first bracket we take 435 we multiply by the rate 435 we multiply by the rate which is 2 shillings for every 20 bob and this one gives us 870 kenya shillings we go to the second bracket the second bracket we are going to tax 435 we are going to take 3 shillings for every 20 bob and if you multiply 435 times 3 you get a total of 1305 we go to the third slab the third slab we take the amount to be taxed in the third slab is 435 we multiply by 4 because we need 4 shillings for every 20 bob in the third bracket and if you multiply 400 and 35 times 4 you get a total of 1740 we go to the fourth bracket the fourth bracket mm, we have uh, the fourth bracket and in the fourth bracket we are going to tax a total of 435 we have 435 we multiply by 5 and this gives us a total of 2175 kenya shillings then now we go to the fifth bracket and the fifth bracket is what we call the remaining and the amount that was remaining after taxing all the other brackets we had 284 so you take 284 you multiply by the rate in the last bracket which is 6 and this gives us a total of you multiply 284 you multiply by 6 this one will give you 1704 Kenya shillings and therefore now To get the total tax we need to add the amount of tax in the first bracket which is 870 plus the second bracket we had 1305 plus 1740 in the third bracket plus 2175 plus 1704 in the last bracket and this gives us a total of this gives us a total of 7,794 Kenya shillings per month as the gross tax in this particular case. Remember to subscribe to the channel and also help us to share the link. We go to part B of the question. B, we are told that uh, the employee is uh, the employee 
is entitled to a personal relief of Kenya shillings 800 per month, determine the net tax. Remember to get the net tax. Net tax is given by taking the total tax, which we call the gross tax, with less relief. And in this case, the total tax we have calculated so far is 7,794 Kenya shillings minus 800 relief. And this translates to Kenya shillings, 6,994 Kenya shillings per month as our net tax or the actual tax paid by this employee. We move down to part C. We move to part C. And in part C we are told, in part C we are told that uh, if the employee received a 50% increase in his total income, calculate the corresponding percentage increase in total tax. In this case, we need to find the new income. And for us to get the new income, since we have a 50% increase, we are going to have 150% of what he was earning initially of 2024. And this one gives us a total of, this gives us a total of uh, 3,036 months as total income. In this case, you realize again, this amount is going to lie in the last bracket and therefore we do not need to start taxing again. We only need to find the excess of 1740. So amount in excess, we need amount, amount in excess of 1740. And in this case, to get that amount, we take 30, 36, we minus the total amount of money that has been taxed in the last four brackets of 1740. And this gives us a total of, this gives us a total of how much? We have 13, 36 minus 1740, giving us a total of, 1,296, 1,296, and this is the amount that is going to be taxed in the last bracket, and therefore tax in that bracket, tax in that bracket, tax in that bracket is going to be 1,296, 12, 12, we multiply by 6, and this gives us a total of how much? This gives us a total of 7,776 Kenya shillings. So if this is the amount of tax that was obtained in the last bracket, the total tax, I'm at the gross tax in this case, is going to be as follows. We take the amount we got in the first bracket of 870. We add... The second bracket we got 13.05 plus the third one we got 17.40 plus the fourth one we got 21.04 and the last one we are going to take 7,776 and this one will be equal to a total of this one will be equal to a total of A total of uh, 30 plus, we are going to have a total of 12,000, that is 12,126. Uh, 12, this is the new total tax and in this case now to find the percentage change the percentage change is going to be obtained by taking the change and the change is going to be 12,000 
126 we minus the total tax in the first calculation of 7794 we divide by the original which is 7794 everything multiplied by 100 percent and this one is going to give us a total of that is 55.58 percent and that gives us the answer to that particular question thank you for watching and welcome to this channel and in case you are watching this for the first time kindly take one second and click the subscribe button